everybody and welcome back to another episode of my ice walkthrough. My name is Courtney, otherwise known as Olivia Stormcloud here on YouTube, and we are going to continue in these huts in Mushu, but before we do that, we need to ask the question of the day. And the question of the day today is what are your plans for summertime? I thought this would be a good question to ask because I believe summer is coming up or is summer already here. I'm not sure. Um, I know a couple of my friends are out of school already and I know some of them are still in school. So it all has to do with like what school you're in. Um, but it's officially summer for me and for a couple of my friends. And I would like to know what you guys are doing over the summer. Not to be totally creepy like or anything. And you don't have to go into too much detail. But I'm going to tell you guys what I'm doing this summer and I have a very, very busy summer. Um, so, already I went to Indianapolis for my uncle's wedding, as most of you guys know. That was pretty fun, pretty interesting. I've never been to Indiana before, so that was a, that was a treat. Um, and also, really, really fast coming up in July, me and my friend Courtney are going down to California for VidCon, which will be, oh my gosh, so much fun. I can't wait. We're both very, very excited. Um, I get to see my cousins and my grandparents as well. And it's just going to be really, really fun. I get to show Courtney around where I used to live, which is even more fun. Because um, most of you guys know, I think, um, I actually grew up in Southern California. So my cousins and my grandparents still live down there. Um, while we live up here in the wonderful state of Washington. Which, it's, it's okay. It's, you know, it's, it's Washington. Um, and then I think in August, I'm going to a cabin for, I think, like a week and uh, on the ocean in Washington, which would be kind of fun. And then in September, I am a bridesmaid in one of my friend's wedding, which I guess September really isn't summertime, but school or college for me, or the college I used to go to actually doesn't start until like, I think late September. So technically it's still summer for me. Um, and I know some of you guys start school like in August and stuff, but that's how my summer is going. Um, so I have a very, very busy summer upcoming, and, uh, yeah, what are you guys doing for summer? I'd love to hear it. Don't forget to write your answer down below in the comments. And, uh, we're gonna go ahead and enter the first hut in the Cave of Solitude. Um, we in the previous episode, we defeated Kato and got, like, a parts of the Jade Scepter, and we only need one more. And apparently they're in these huts. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and see. Okay. There's evil people in here. Now, I think you can actually leave, right? Before I attempt to leave, I'm gonna take out some things, because I don't need these anymore. I think you can leave. I'm not sure if it pulls you in. I'm gonna try to leave. Okay, okay, you can leave. Alright, that's good to know. Sweet, so we don't even have to, um... We don't even have to fight those things. For some reason, I thought you had to fight them. Um, and I think in, like, a previous video I did, um, because I did do, I think, a walkthrough of, uh, Mushu, uh, before, and people were mentioning to me, you don't actually have to fight them, you can just leave, and I'm like, really? So, I guess you guys can leave those huts if you want to, and you don't have to fight the things. Usually I do fight them just because you get experience from it, but then again, you don't really get that much experience if you really don't want to. Um, so, anyways, let's go in the second hut here and, um, see if we can find the last part of the scepter because we need to find it. So we can fight the plague Oni, which, uh, that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun. Alright, well, nope, nothing in here. Now we gotta go talk to Din Ho, um, which I don't remember where the thing is, uh... We're gonna have to go find the teleporter here because we're kind of far away from where we were. But apparently the thing that we're looking for are not in those huts. And where do I need to go again here? Straight? Straight, okay. Just making sure because I don't want to get completely lost because that would be kind of silly. Unless you guys want me to get lost, which in that case I can totally get lost. But it would be fun for you and not fun for me and I'd rather us all have fun. Okay, here's a teleporter hub, or stone thingy. And here's Din Ho! You were attacked. My sincerest apologies, wizard. I led you into danger through my error. It is times like these when I realize that my faith is being put to the test. Yeah, except for the fact that I didn't get attacked. I actually just left, but... 
I'm I'm glad that you're you you're apologizing, I guess. I don't know. I hesitate to send you into danger again. We may be Oops. able to find well, information about I'm the sorry. I missed the that last part. piece there. If you are willing, uh, go there and tell me what you can find okay. concerning the missing piece of the Jade Scepter. Uh okay. So we need to go to um that place over there, so we gotta go back to the Tainted Forest, which is this stone here. I'm sorry I totally missed that part of the speech. Am I going the wrong way? I have to go this way? Oh, okay. My bad. Going the wrong direction. Now these imps are actually quite annoying. I've been caught by these things like more than once and actually I'm just gonna run across here real quick because normally when I'm over there and I go down that little patch of green they get you and then you have to fight them because then you gotta go all the way back. So you just gotta be careful around those things, and you can't come through here. So this is like a part where King's Isle is just like, let's just put this giant rock in the middle of the way, so when people, you know, find the, find the place they need to go to, they're just gonna get stuck behind a rock, and then they're gonna get trapped by the imps, and then it's just this whole plan of King's Isle. At least that's how I see it. King's Isle logic, right? Wizard logic? Put a giant rock in the middle of the pathway? Yep. All right, let's see. You dare to test your oh, mic shoot. on me? What a mistake. That guy just pulled me in. Just, just, just pulled me in. Thank goodness my deck was ready. Jeez. Okay, calm down, dude. I didn't even move. You guys saw that, right? I didn't even move. Oh my jeez. Okay. Well, this guy's fire. And this guy's myth. So... I'm glad I didn't have my converts in, because that would have been, uh, oh great, now I'm gonna waste my stupid tower on a blood bat. Fabulous. Okay, well, we have Wallace ready to go. Um, do I want to do Wallace, or do I just want to hit them both? I really have no blade, though, it's really gonna do absolutely nothing. I feel like spread damage is good, though. But then Wallace does more. Um, alright, let's go ahead and just Ice Wyver in the boss. Or Wallace, I guess. I mean, I have no blades on, but I guess this will do a lot because it boosts off of him, so... And I know I usually like to attack the other guy, but... I'm a little bit nervous he's gonna put an Ice Shield up, and that would just be unfortunate. 686. Six. Okay, then. If that would have been 666, six, six, I would have said, Illuminati confirmed! Anyways. Okay. Oh, now I get blades. Thanks. Thanks for showing up now. Really appreciate it. Okay. Well, I think probably one more actually Ice Wyvern. I don't know. It might actually do him in. I'll see. We have to be careful, though, because he's fire, and fire attacks pretty dang strongly. Uh, what are you doing? You're putting an ice trap on- or an ice shield on him? Okay. That doesn't make any sense, but- no, whatever. Whatever, man. Alright, we can't do anything. Great. Um, I'm actually gonna get rid of... We already have a wyvern, so I'm gonna get rid of another wyvern. And I think we kinda all need these, so we're gonna go ahead and pass. Cause we can't do anything anyway. And this guy's gonna hit me with a fire cat. Okay. Okay, man. Oh, and you're gonna give him a myth blade. <laughs> I am so confused. Okay. Well, we're gonna go ahead and keep passing. Because obviously these guys are a little bit confused on what their actual uh, school is here. There we go. Now you're actually using your school. There you go. I'll bet it's a very low attack for having that many pips, but um. Whatever, man. Whatever. Alright, so we need to... I, I'm just gonna waver in the boss again. I'm gonna Wallace the boss. There we go. I don't know if this will kill him or not. I feel like it'll probably do around 800 instead of 900. But we'll see. Oh man, I wish I had crit right now. That would be great. Alright, let's see how much it's gonna do. Oh yeah, 800. That's what I thought. What are you gonna hit me with? Oh... Uh, Okay. This guy does not know what he wants to do. Um, 
Hmm. I'm gonna, just gonna wait for a Leprechaun. I would, like, blade up, but there really is no point at this time. Okay, there you go. Now you're actually using your school. Too bad you don't have a fire blade on. Ow. That actually kind of hurt. Okay, now now these now these guys are waking up a little bit here. Got a Humunga Frog, who... I still don't understand the concept of Humunga Frog. Is he coming out of the world? Is he... What what is his what is his thing? What, I don't I don't understand. Okay, now do I want to wait for Blizzard, or do I just want a Leprechaun? I feel like it's just Leprechaun because he has a lot of pips right now. There we go. Okay, so we got the boss done. Now usually I would do it the other way around. I would get rid of the minion first, but seeing as how he was kind of more of a threat. I was just gonna take out him first. So now we just have the minions to deal with here. Um, and he actually has one of these things on, which is kind of annoying. So I'm gonna get rid of some of these blizzards. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of all the blizzards, because we don't really need those. And I'm gonna go ahead and pass. I'm gonna see if I can get a, a Seraph here. Because I can. Although I do have to be very careful, because I'm already kind of low. Okay. Okay, we gotta be careful here. We gotta be careful here. Here, 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 here. here. I have an ice blade. That's helpful. Alright, so I should just put that on anyway. Just put that on anyway. It doesn't cost any pips to do this. And you're probably gonna put in a blade yourself, I'm assuming. Yep. Okay. Okay. So, we still don't have enough for Seraph, which is kind of unfortunate. So we're gonna have to wait one more round. Oh, I really wish I had life blades at this point. Because Seraph isn't going to do anything. Ow! Okay, okay, we got this, we got this, we got this, guys, we got this. No worries, no worries, I hope you guys aren't freaking out in your chairs. We got this, okay. Seraph, go. Please don't fizzle on me, please. Thank you very much, kind lady. Alright, okay, this is going to do not enough, I know. Okay. Oh, man, I probably should just hit him with an ice pack to get that off, because now I have a blade on, but like, I can't really do anything. It's not gonna do as much. Okay, I actually have an idea. We're in a Leprechaun next turn, and uh, oh man, he's like setting me up right now. He's setting me up. Okay, we're in a Leprechaun this turn, and I know it's not gonna knock him out. I know it's not. We're gonna follow up, hopefully, with a one hit, if I can get one! Okay, okay, okay. Can we get a wand hit? Nope, we can't get a wand hit. That sucks. Okay. We don't need any of these blades right now. A wand hit wouldn't even take him out anyway. Let's just put a trap on for, like, just leverage. Okay! We've gotta be careful, because we're only at 600 health right now. He's at 3 pips. And he's gonna hit me with a fire attack. Which is probably going to hit me for around 274 damage. Or 49. Okay, that's better. That's better. Oh man, look at my health, guys. This is, this is scary. Okay, let's go ahead and evil snowman. I think we got this if Olaf makes it. Can Olaf come out? Yes, Olaf can show up. Okay, okay, okay. We got this. We got this. We got this. <laughs> oh man, that's a minus 80%. Dang! That was only by two no points. Ground reads. Good work on getting me the headpiece. Good work on getting me the headpiece. Wait, it's not even the guy who has it. Oh, great! All that work for nothing. All that work for nothing. Jeez, man. Ah, uh, well, that was fun. All right. Well, at least we. This is the wrong direction. We're gonna get caught by those stupid things. Okay, let's go carefully around here. These imps, though, guys. These imps are just a problem. I just remember getting caught by these things, like, every single time. And it's not fun. At all. Oh, great. They're there again. Okay, let's see if we can navigate this. I'm gonna- I'm gonna- I'm gonna regret this. Oh, there's a teleporter stern. <gasps> Whew! We made it. Okay. Oh, there's a griffin. I am relieved that you have returned safely and with good news. 
I was worried that I had sent you into harm's way needlessly. I should not have doubted the great Muda. Yeah, I guess so. Kanago is a formidable opponent, but we can surprise him in his pagoda. He will not be expecting you to find him. Great. Go there and get the remaining piece of the Jade Scepter from him. Oh, another boss battle. Okay, so he is in the fish area. So the wandering Ronin. Alright, so where do I go? This way? Nope, nope, this way. Okay. You have to defeat Kanang Kanago. Kanago. So see, that rock you can actually just like walk right past. But not the other rock. Okay, that was really that was really risky right there. Alright, so you kick it over here though? The heck? Oh my gosh, King's Isle. Alright. So now I have to defeat Kanango, and I'm not exactly sure what his school is. I'm kind of hoping it's not ice, because I really don't want to deal with ice right now. <laughs> I really don't. Fire is good. Fire is good, as long as they don't shield, but... Okay, can you not drag me in this time? Ha! Huh, we are prepared. Thank you. My little piggies oh, warned me that you are Great. coming, wizard. You will never have the uh... Jade Scepter while I still stand. Storm is kind of a problem. Um, I think we'll be okay, though. Do we have enough heals? Yeah, we have enough heals. Okay, let's do this. Normally, Storm doesn't have that much health, so hopefully this guy only has like 1,200 health. Oh! Ha! <laughs> you have more than the other guy! Okay, well, first order of business is we're going to try and take out the minion, because as soon as we take that guy out, we probably won't have too much of a problem. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and blade up here and wait for Wallace. <sighs> and you're gonna hit me with an imp. Oh, no, you're not. Okay, you're just gonna hit me with your sword, fiery life thing. Okay. Cool. So we're also gonna go ahead and- actually, we should probably ice trap. Yeah, let's go to ice trap. Because he can't really hit me for too much right now. So I don't really need to put on a a uh, tower shield yet. Man, so many boss battles in this in this part here, in this episode. Oh, okay, that's great. All right, so let's go ahead and Wallace and see if Wallace can take this Ronin out. There we go. We have a blade and we have a tower a trap. I have not played this game in a long time. I don't remember what the words are. All right. Can we do it? This is like plus 65% or 75%. I can't do math. Yes! Okay, one down and one hit. You're gonna hit me with a death attack? Yeah, I was gonna say, dude. That's just not your thing, man. It's not your thing. Alright, so see, now he has four pips. So now we, we're kind of a little bit nervous at this point. But we're just gonna go ahead and put a tower shield on. Because now whatever he's gonna hit us with isn't going to be as strong. And he's just not gonna hit us. He's like, oh, you think I'm gonna hit you? Haha, <laughs> psych, I'm putting on one of these. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and put on some more blades. And we're just gonna try and whittle down this guy's health as much as we can. I wish that Bella's blade will come up, because that would be nice. Um, let's get rid of some of these blades. I don't need so many of them. We're gonna go ahead and pass, because I don't want to hit him with Slippery Sam. Oh my gosh, he's hitting us with... Storm Shark. Okay. Calm down, dude. That did like nothing. So normally that would have done like 400 something. Alright, so we got Wallace again. We can go ahead and Wallace, I suppose. Um. I definitely do think I'm a bit lower in level to be here. I'm only level 31. Um. Which I know is, is kind of low to be in Mushu, to be quite honest with you. But we seem to be managing okay. Alright. Okay. 616. These double sixes, though. Oh! Okay! Calm down a little bit, dude. This is not that serious, man. This is not that serious. Just, just calm down. Take a deep breath. Okay, so I don't know what to do. I need to wait for another Wallace, and I really need to blade, but I have a power pip, and I don't want to waste it. 
So I guess I'll just hit him with this. I know it's really pointless to do this because he's Storm, but I really don't want to waste that power pip on a blade. It's kind of silly. Um, he's probably gonna blade right now. Yep. I really need a tower shield, actually. But I ain't getting one. And now Ice Wyvern appears, but I'm gonna have to go ahead and blade up, because Wallace isn't gonna do too much if I don't do this. Okay, Storm Bats, that's, that's fine, that's fine. <sighs> Please don't hurt me for too much. Oh my god, Storm is so strong. Storm is so strong. Alright, we need to hit him with another Wallace here. I could actually heal up. But I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay to not heal up here. Come on, Wallace. Come on, Wallace! We're stronger than Storm! Let's go. Let's go. Breathe your, your cold breath of... I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. There you go. Breathe your freezing, freeze-dry... I, I, I don't know. I need to go to bed. Okay. We got this. He has 400 health left. I can't do anything, which is kind of a problem. Um, we're gonna go have a pass because we can't do anything. Okay, he passed too. Okay, 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 okay. So, I feel like we need to wait for s Evil Snowman. And I think we can survive whatever he's gonna hit me with right now. Oh, he's not hitting me with anything. Okay. Well, we're gonna go ahead and Olaf right now. There we go. Okay, Olaf. So far, we've had no fizzles this entire battle, which is which is really good. Really, really good. Okay. Okay. Are you dead? I didn't, really, I didn't see how much I did. Nope, he's not dead yet. Okay. So we have to survive this right now. Oh. You have four pips and you hit me with lightning bats. Why didn't you just use, like, Kraken or Storm Shark? I, I, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna have to go ahead and do this. This is actually pretty bad. Because... He can hit me for a lot right now. Oh, he's using a myth spell. Or he's not. Okay, that works! So now we can just Leprechaun him, and hopefully Leprechaun will kill him. Ah, oh, wow! We got lucky on that battle, guys. Like, seriously. Because I didn't fizzle at all. And we found the headpiece! And we got some stuff. We got that that I can't wear, and ooh. That, that I also can't wear, but you know what? That's what happens when you're level 31 in Mushu. But we are just we are just going through this, guys. We're going through this pretty quickly here. And I am actually pretty shocked that I've been able to handle most of this relatively well. I mean, there have been a couple times when I've been down to like 300 health, and that's kind of scary. But, I mean, I've been pretty lucky with these things. Okay, so where is the... I can never find the... Teleporting thing. Am I going the right way? Yes. Okay, just up here. If you just would have went a little bit more forward, Courtney, you would have seen it. Doi. All right. So now we got the headpiece. Yeah. This headpiece you retrieved is the most important part of the Jade Scepter. Ooh. I hope we can repair all of it soon. I hope so too. Ooh, level up. In ancient times, the Jade Scepter was blessed by the forest spirits. Ancient spirits, they hold sway over the earth, water, and air spirits. We will need the help of these venerable forest spirits. Okay, can you say spirits uh, one more time? To do so, we must first catch their attention with offerings of jade lotus, tiger lily, and pearl orchid. Please, gather these flowers and bring them back to me. Alright, well we will collect flowers in the next episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. It was actually a lot of action this episode. We had to fight two bosses and a minion, and it was scary for one time, but we made it. We made it through, and uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what happens in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed this episode, though, don't forget to smash that like button. It means a lot. Let's me know that you guys are enjoying these videos. And also don't forget to answer the question of the day. What are your plans for summertime? And uh, yeah, I guess I will see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe as well, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.